Interactive broker shares falling a bit here on the back of Q4 results. Adjusted earnings coming in at 83 cents a share. That was a beat from Wall Street estimates by a penny. Customer accounts growing 56 percent from the same time last year to 1.68 million. Commissions adding 11 percent. Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview, Interactive Brokers chairman Thomas Petterfee. Welcome back, Thomas. Good to have you. Thank you. So, so tell us a little bit about what you're seeing in the business in terms of sentiment and engagement as we see the markets turn pretty volatile in 2022. Well, uh, I mean, you know, up, up on there, I, I can only speak of what, have happened, what has happened up to today because I, I can see into the future just like nobody else can. Uh, but the year was really a, a very good year for us, so I... I kind of puzzled why the stock fell, although I never understand why it falls. We had adjusted earnings or adjusted revenues of, of 2.78 billion, up 26% for the year. Expenses were only up 8%. So that resulted in a grossly improved profit margin of 67%, which is uh, unparalleled in the industry. Adjusted earnings for the year were, were 3.37 uh, $3.37 per share, which were 25, 29% higher than the previous year. In the course of the year, we have added over 600,000 new customers and executed 2.5 million trades on the average day. Uh, we have hired and trained over 500 new employees. We introduced a number of new products, such as mm. Global Analyst, which allows our clients to discover undervalued companies from a wide database of global stocks. We introduce cryptocurrencies, which only charge uh, between 12 and 18 basis points of trade value, which is two thirds lower than the next least expensive provider. We rolled out our ESG focused right. impact app, which brings a simplified platform to help clients find, <laughs> in, find investing companies that, who share values, uh, uh, who, 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 who share their values. We introduced U.S. spot yeah. gold trading. And as far as the industry is concerned, the most notable event of the year was the huge increase in listed option trading. In the last six months, U.S. option volumes exceeded 40 million contracts a day. And Interactive Brokers uh, has roughly 10% of that volume. Uh, given that so, I spent 50... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. I just have a question. No, it, it, it's a good preview of what, what to expect on the earnings call that we'll hear from you in a few moments. But, Thomas, are you taking back market share from the likes of Robinhood users as they have maybe matured or, or gotten well, wealthier well, we, to take advantage we, of some we, of your sophisticated we, products? We never have lost market share to Robinhood. We have always gained customers from Robinhood and we never lost customers to them. But I take my head off to Robinhood because what they have done by bringing 20 million young people into the business is absolutely fantastic. And, and, you know, that helps us business-wise because uh, as some of these customers become more serious and they decide to have a more serious platform, then they, some of them come to us. We get roughly 10, 10 customers a day from Robin. Thomas, I'm interested uh, what your take is on whether uh, the rate rise environment or if we move into a, a significant moment of risk-off sentiment from equity investors, what that might do uh, to, to your business. I, I know that as, as long as they keep the cash in, in their interactive broker's account, you can still make money of it. But, but is there a risk that suddenly people withdraw their money from you rather than keeping it as a cash balance with you? Well, I, I, I don't think it's a, it's a risk. I would encourage my customers to invest their money in uh, in uh, if not stocks of these things that that provide the yield uh, and uh, so I think that inflation is going to continue and and given a background of seven percent uh, stock has stocks have to rise by seven percent just to uh, keep their relative values 
So I, I think stocks will, going forward will be a good investment, provided that the social and, and uh, structural and strategic instability sort of calms down a little bit, because I'm, I'm, I'm worried about what going on, what's going on uh, in, in politically in the United States and in the Ukraine and in China. So that, that, that could bring down the business. That, that could severely impact the business. But if, if those things calm down, I think um, the market looks very good.